The transition to electric vehicles has always been presented as inevitable, but behind this promise lay a weak point that no one could ignore, the battery. For years it was simultaneously the heart and the biggest problem of electric cars, concentrating high costs, technical complexity, and constant fears about durability and safety. It is precisely at this point that Tesla decides to intervene radically, proposing not an incremental improvement, but a complete break with the current paradigm. By announcing the development of an aluminum ion battery for launch in 2026, Tesla signals that it understands the problem at its root. Instead of trying to further optimize lithium chemistry, the company chooses to abandon a system that has become expensive, delicate, and dependent on unstable supply chains. The proposal is not only technical, but strategic, industrial, and even philosophical about the future of electric mobility. The first noticeable change is in cost. Aluminum is one of the most abundant elements in the Earth's crust, with a widely established extraction, refining, and recycling chain. This contrasts directly with lithium, cobalt, and nickel, whose limited availability and geopolitical concentration create price volatility and constant uncertainty. By switching to aluminum, Tesla reduces not only the cost of the battery, but also the systemic risk of its business. This cost reduction isn't limited to the material itself. The technical simplicity of the new battery eliminates a series of subsystems that currently increase the cost of electric vehicles. Ultra-sensitive sensors, redundant monitoring circuits, and complex cooling systems are no longer central components. The result is a more robust system, less prone to failure, and much more tolerant of real-world operational variations. Thermal tolerance is perhaps one of the most transformative aspects of this technology. While lithium-ion batteries enter critical zones at approximately 90 degrees Celsius, requiring constant thermal control, the aluminum-ion battery withstands temperatures up to 140 degrees without structural loss or risk of failure. This completely changes the engineering logic of electric vehicles. By eliminating bulky cooling systems, the vehicle becomes lighter, more efficient, and simpler to produce. In current models, Tens of kilograms are dedicated exclusively to battery thermal management. By removing this dead weight, Tesla gains energy efficiency, improves range, and opens up space for new design architectures, both internal and structural. This design freedom has direct implications for the user experience. More interior space, flatter floors, better mass distribution, and even new modular layouts become possible. The car ceases to be a compromise between engineering and usability and becomes a more coherent product designed from the outset for the electric reality and not adapted from inherited chemical limitations. Another crucial point is maintenance. The aluminum ion battery was designed with a modular structure that allows for quick and straightforward replacement of entire segments. Instead of lengthy disassemblies and complex diagnostics, repairs are similar to replacing individual blocks drastically reducing workshop time and associated costs. This change redefines the consumer's relationship with the electric vehicle. Today, the battery is seen as an untouchable, expensive, and potentially terminal component. With the new approach, it becomes a repairable, predictable, and manageable system over decades. Anxiety related to degradation ceases to be a constant shadow and becomes merely a controllable technical aspect. The projected durability reinforces this transformation with an estimated capacity of between 5,000 and 7,000 complete charge cycles. The aluminum ion battery can easily exceed two decades of real-world use. This not only surpasses current batteries by many times over, but also profoundly alters the used vehicle market, reducing depreciation associated with energy wear. More than just numbers, this durability changes the concept of ownership. The electric car ceases to be a product with an implicit expiration date, and begins to behave as a long-term asset. This perception is essential for mass adoption, especially among consumers who still see EVs as risky or financially unpredictable. Safety naturally accompanies this evolution. Greater thermal stability drastically reduces the risk of fires caused by sensor failures, internal short circuits, or insulation degradation. This factor, although often underestimated, is one of the biggest psychological barriers for buyers considering switching from combustion engines to electric vehicles. Beyond the technical and economic gains, the aluminum ion battery introduces a structural change in the environmental impact of electric vehicles. One of the great paradoxes of electric mobility has always been the fact that, 
Although cars do not emit gases during use, their production relied heavily on intensive mining and highly polluting processes. The greater durability of the new battery drastically reduces the need for large-scale production, breaking this cycle of frequent replacement. When a battery can last up to 25 years, the industrial logic changes. Fewer units need to be manufactured, less raw material is extracted, and less energy is consumed throughout the product's life cycle. This generates a positive ripple effect that goes far beyond the individual vehicle, affecting entire supply chains and reducing pressure on sensitive ecosystems. Aluminum also stands out for its almost infinite recyclability. Unlike other metals used in current batteries, it can be reused repeatedly without significant loss of properties. This paves the way for closed-loop production cycles, in which old batteries return to the industrial chain as raw material for new units, drastically reducing waste and dependence on continuous mining. This perspective of closed-loop recycling, projected to become viable within the next decade, represents one of the greatest environmental advancements ever proposed in the automotive sector. The electric vehicle ceases to be merely a less polluting alternative and becomes a product conceived from the outset for long-term sustainability, something that until now remained more of a rhetorical exercise than a practical one. Another crucial point lies in the stability of the supply chain. Lithium, cobalt, and nickel are concentrated in specific regions of the planet, often associated with political instability, trade disputes, and abrupt price fluctuations. Aluminum, on the other hand, has a mature, distributed, and highly industrialized global supply chain, reducing strategic risks for manufacturers and consumers. This predictability is essential for scaling up the production of electric vehicles globally. When the cost and availability of a critical component cease to be uncertain, industrial planning becomes more efficient, final prices stabilize, and mass adoption no longer depends on subsidies or artificial incentives to be sustained. Tesla seems to understand that the real bottleneck in electrification lies not only in the technology, but in the reliability of the system as a whole. By reducing its dependence on rare and volatile materials, the company is building a more solid foundation for global expansion, especially in emerging markets where costs and maintenance are decisive factors. From the consumer's point of view, this stability translates into peace of mind. The user experience is no longer marked by the fear of unexpected failures, hidden costs, or accelerated depreciation of the vehicle's value. The battery, once seen as a fragile and unpredictable component, is now perceived as a robust, durable, and reliable element. This psychological shift is as important as any technical advancement. The mass adoption of new technologies rarely fails due to technical limitations, but rather due to a lack of trust. By eliminating the main anxiety points associated with current batteries, Tesla removes one of the last emotional barriers to the definitive migration to electric vehicles. The used car market is also undergoing a profound transformation. With batteries that maintain performance for decades, the residual value of vehicles becomes much more stable. This creates a healthier ecosystem, in which electric cars can circulate among multiple owners without the stigma of a battery nearing the end of its useful life. This new dynamic is also altering financing, insurance, and guarantee models. A component that previously concentrated high risks now offers predictability allowing for more accessible financial products and reducing the total cost of ownership over time. In an urban context, simplified maintenance and reduced repair times have a direct impact on mobility. Vehicles spend less time out of service, commercial fleets gain operational efficiency, and parts logistics become simpler with standardized, quickly replaceable modules. The sum of these factors points to a complete redefinition of what it means to own and operate an electric vehicle. It's not just about driving without emissions, but about participating in a more stable, sustainable, and rational system, both from an economic and environmental point of view. On an industrial level, the adoption of the aluminum-ion battery represents a silent yet profound disruption to how electric vehicles are designed, manufactured, and scaled. By simplifying the energy system, Tesla drastically reduces the number of critical variables within the production line. Fewer sensitive components mean fewer points of failure, less complex testing, and greater predictability in the manufacturing process. This simplification directly impacts production speed. Leaner lines allow for shorter cycles, less need for rework, and a faster learning curve for new factories. 
This is especially relevant in a scenario of global expansion, where replicating complex processes is often one of the biggest obstacles to quality standardization. Battery modularity also redefines inventory and logistics logic. Instead of transporting complete, heavy, and delicate systems, the industry now deals with independent modules that are easier to store, replace, and redistribute. This model reduces logistics costs and increases the resilience of supply chains in the face of unexpected disruptions. From a strategic standpoint, Tesla gains better control over its own industrial destiny. By relying on an abundant and widely available material, the company reduces its exposure to geopolitical disputes, trade sanctions, and abrupt market fluctuations. This strengthens its competitive position and reduces the structural vulnerability that still affects much of the electric automotive industry. This shift also puts pressure on competitors. Manufacturers who continue to invest heavily in lithium-ion batteries find themselves stuck with an increasingly complex, expensive, and difficult-to-scale technology. The difference will not only be in performance, but in the systemic efficiency of the entire production ecosystem. Over time, this asymmetry tends to widen. Companies that adopt simpler and more durable solutions will be able to reduce prices without sacrificing margins, while those stuck with weaker architectures will increasingly depend on external incentives to remain competitive. The market inevitably begins to reorganize itself around this new reality. The aluminum ion battery also influences how vehicles are designed from the initial conception. Without the need to accommodate bulky cooling systems, engineers gain the freedom to explore new structural geometries, improve weight distribution, and optimize the integration between the chassis and the power system. This cleaner integration fosters indirect efficiency gains. Lower structural weight means lower energy consumption per kilometer, which translates into greater real-world range even without increasing the battery's nominal capacity. The result is a more efficient vehicle not through brute force, but through intelligent design. In everyday use, these gains manifest themselves in an almost invisible, yet constant way. The car heats up less, requires less active management, and maintains stable performance in a wider variety of weather conditions. This reduces overall system wear and contributes to the longevity promised by the new chemistry. Another important effect arises in the relationship between software and hardware. Simpler thermal management systems require fewer algorithmic interventions, reducing the complexity of electronic control. This frees up computational resources for other functions and decreases the dependence on constant updates to correct emergency behaviors. This reduction in complexity also improves long-term reliability. The fewer layers of control needed to keep the system safe, the lower the probability of unpredictable failures. The vehicle becomes more tolerant of real-world, imperfect, and variable driver use, something that is rarely considered in laboratory tests. In the global scenario, the adoption of this technology can concretely accelerate the energy transition. Countries that currently face difficulties in implementing complex electrical infrastructure will gain access to more robust, less demanding vehicles that are more adaptable to local realities. This expands the reach of electrification beyond the wealthiest markets. In this context, the aluminum ion battery is not just a technical innovation, but a catalyst for structural change. It redefines costs, expectations, business models, and even the narrative surrounding electric mobility, which is shifting from a technological privilege to a more universal solution. This universalization is perhaps the greatest impact of all. When technology becomes simple, durable, and predictable, it ceases to be the exception and becomes the standard. It is precisely at this point that an innovation stops being merely interesting and becomes truly transformative. As this new technology begins to take hold, the effects cease to be merely industrial or technical and begin to directly impact consumer behavior. The way people relate to an electric vehicle changes when the battery is no longer an unknown factor. The constant worry about degradation, expensive replacement, or abrupt loss of range simply disappears from the decision-making process. This new scenario creates a different bond between user and product. The electric car ceases to be seen as a technological experiment and begins to occupy the same mental space as a durable, reliable, and predictable good. This change in perception is fundamental to winning over audiences who, until then, remained hesitant or completely oblivious to electrification. With batteries designed to last for decades, the vehicle replacement cycle also tends to lengthen. 
Consumers are keeping their cars for longer, not due to a lack of options, but because the product remains functional and efficient. This alters the logic of rapid consumption and encourages a more sustainable market, based on use value and not just novelty. At the same time, the modularity of the battery creates new possibilities for upgrades over time. Instead of replacing the entire vehicle, the owner can upgrade specific modules, adapting the car to new needs or technologies without discarding the entire system. This flexibility brings the automobile closer to an evolutionary ecosystem, similar to what already occurs in other technological sectors. In the urban landscape, this durability has direct implications for infrastructure. Fewer discarded vehicles mean less pressure on recycling systems and less industrial waste. Cities begin to deal with a more stable, predictable, and integrated fleet, reducing indirect costs associated with the constant renewal of the vehicle network. The economic impact also extends beyond the automotive industry. Repair shops, insurance companies, and logistics firms are now operating in an environment of lower risk and greater predictability. Quick and standardized repairs reduce operating costs and make the service more accessible, including in regions where electric vehicle maintenance is still limited. From an energy standpoint, the greater structural efficiency of vehicles contributes to a more rational use of electricity. Lower weight, less heat loss, and simpler systems result in better utilization of stored energy. This reduces the demand for accelerated expansion of electricity generation, facilitating integration with renewable sources. As we approach the end of the decade, the prospect of closed-loop recycling is beginning to take concrete form. Batteries that reach the end of their useful life return to the production system as raw material, creating a near-circular flow. This model drastically reduces future costs and decreases dependence on new extraction processes. This circularity redefines the concept of sustainability within electric mobility. It's not just about emitting less during use, but about redesigning the entire product life cycle. The battery ceases to be a potential environmental problem and becomes an active part of the solution, integrating into a more efficient and responsible economy. In the global scenario, countries that previously viewed electrification as unfeasible are beginning to reconsider their strategies. The combination of lower cost, greater durability, and technical simplicity makes electric vehicles accessible to previously excluded markets. This accelerates the energy transition in a more balanced way and with less dependence on subsidies. This movement also puts pressure on governments and regulators to update regulations, incentives, and public policies. When the technology ceases to be fragile and expensive, the arguments against its adoption lose strength. The debate then revolves around implementation and scale, and no longer around feasibility. In the long term, the aluminum ion battery could become the missing tipping point to consolidate electric mobility as the dominant standard, not because of futuristic promises, but because it pragmatically solves real problems. It is at this moment that innovation ceases to be the exception and becomes a structural foundation. This solid foundation creates room for further advancements, from new vehicle formats to deeper integrations with smart energy grids. When the central element of the system becomes reliable, the entire surrounding ecosystem gains the freedom to evolve. When observing the set of transformations brought about by the aluminum ion battery, it becomes clear that we are not facing a simple technological evolution, but a complete redefinition of the concept of the electric vehicle. Tesla is not only offering more range, more safety, or lower cost, but reshaping the foundation upon which all electric mobility has been built until now. For years, the battery was the weak link in the system concentrating fear, uncertainty, and complexity. It dictated the final price, limited design, required specialized maintenance, and carried with it the risk of thermal stress as a constant threat. By directly addressing this problematic core, Tesla eliminates multiple obstacles at once that have hindered the mass adoption of electric vehicles.